What is up everyone, Eric here from Producer Dudes, and today is going to be my very first Cubase Pro 10 video, and I'm very much brand new, I haven't even been able to record a session in this yet, and so I'm gonna, as I learn things, and I think they're cool, I'm going to be making videos about them so I can help out other people that might be in the same position I am right now, or I was. And so I'm trying to figure out how to get Cubase to see the fader port so I can actually do stuff with it. And a lot of the information out right now isn't really using the same language, and so I wanted to help clear up that space if it's confusing for anyone else. And so if you're looking at Cubase or the fader port 8, essentially they're going to suggest to you that you look for devices up here in the top. Now, devices is clearly not available. And so what we're actually going to do is go to Studio, down to Studio Setup, and here you have your remote devices. And so before we get to that MIDI port setup right here, as we can check and see, Windows MIDI in, PreSonus Fader Port 8. And originally, this box is checked. And from everything I read, we do not want this checked. And so uncheck it, hit apply. And then over here in remote, remote devices, we are going to hit the plus button and go down to Mackie control. From here, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You uh, assign the PreSonus Fader Port 8 to both of these, hit apply, and your Fader Port will come to life. Really short and simple. Um, it baffled me for hours. <laughs> And uh, if, everyone else figure, if everyone else figured this out really easily, well then shame on me, it's embarrassing, but hey, I'm human, everyone else is human, and so we're all in this together just trying to get better at what we do daily. And so if you found this video helpful, please pop a like down below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks, take care.